Good, 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 good. Right then, shall we make a start? So, Maura Darpal, good morning everybody. Welcome to the chair-based exercise class on this beautiful sunny day. Let's keep fingers crossed that we're on the way to spring now and uh, things start to improve. So I hope you all had a good weekend. Let's uh, start this morning by shuffling our bottoms forward on the chair if you're seated. If you're standing, that's absolutely fine. Okay, so make sure that you're comfortable. Um, any props that you've got hanging around, you're going to need uh, a couple of tins or weights if you've got them. Um, cushion and a band, okay? And then we can uh, make a start. So I'll give you a couple of minutes uh, if you need to get anything. If you, do, you don't have to have them, they're just optional. All right, so if you, if you can grab them, then that's great, but not to worry if you haven't got them. All right, so we're going to sit up tall, we're going to engage our core. So you're just going to pull your tummy muscles in, but you're still breathing nice and normally. Keep your shoulders relaxed, but keep them back. Keep everything nice and relaxed there. Okay, and we'll just start by marching our legs. Get the circulation going. Okay, so still sitting nice and tall if you're sitting, if you're standing, that's great. Get those legs moving. Morning. Get those legs moving. Let's bring in the arms as well. Morning, Alvin. Good, keep it up there. All right, so nice and slowly, just starting to mobilize, get the heart rate up. Keep smiling. That's great. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, we'll settle those legs down a second. Let's roll those shoulders up, back, and down. Keep rolling. And again, just releasing any tension that you might have in your shoulders, in your neck. That's it. Up, back, and down. And one more. And round there. Great. Back to those legs then. Let's bring in that march again and bring in the arms if you want to. Okay. Keep marching those legs. Great stuff. We're going to change the leg movement in a second. Okay, I'll count you down and then we're going to take the leg into a heel dig. So four, three, Two, four, one. We're going to stretch that leg forward. Keep those arms moving, maybe into a bicep curl this time. Okay, keep that tummy tight. Keep that back nice and straight. Well done. <coughs> keep those arms going. Keep those legs moving forward. And four. Three, two, let's change the arm. Legs keep forward, arms moving up above the head. That's it, nice stretch, well done. Nice stretch up, push, push. Keep that core engaged. Legs forward, arms up, four, three, two. Keep with the legs, push arms forward now. So those legs are still kicking forward. Push the arms forward into a chest press. You're pushing them away. That's it. You might start feeling a bit warm. You might start getting a little bit breathless. So just work at your own pace. Don't overdo it. And four, three, two, and one. Good. Let's just march those legs. Relax the arms. Roll those shoulders out again. Well done. We just get everything mobilized. Getting that heart rate up a little. Okay, and relax there. Good. 
We're going to take a little bend down to the side, okay? So we're going to go to the right hand side, so slide down one side of your chair and back up and down the other side. Good. And back up. And again, slide down and up. Slide down and up. Well done. Okay, a little bit of a twist now for the spine. So hands to elbows. Okay, again, keep that core nice and tight and uh, long in the body. And we're going to twist round to one side and back to the center. Take it round to the other side, back to the center. And again, round and center and round. Good, and back to the center. Okay. We're going to take one leg forward. We're just going to lean forward slightly, just stretching out the back of that leg. Okay. Then straighten up, take that leg back and change sides. And lean forward there. Well done. And up you come again. Let's go back to marching those legs. All right. So march in. Keep those legs going. Keep that core tight. Keep your back straight and you're long in the body. All right. Keep those legs going. Let's bring those arms in again. So we should be feeling a little bit warmer now. But once again, work to your own pace. Don't overdo it. If you start to get too breathless, then you bring that pace down a little bit. If you need to get yourselves a drink, then get, let's get yourself a drink. Okay. You're in control of how you work. Four, three, two. And one, good, we're gonna tap those heels forwards once more. All right, let's bring in those arms. Bicep curls. That's it. I think I'm getting a little bit of feedback. I don't know if somebody's not muted. I can hear some background noise. If you can just check if you're muted. Four, three, two, one. Okay. This time we're going to take the legs out to the side. We're going to open up the hip flexors. Okay. So we're going to swing it round like a hinge. All right. Opening up that thigh and back in. Same on the other side. Hinge it round and in. Okay. So it's not just a tap out. It's actually opening up. Oh gosh, that's really tight. Help. And in, I need to do that much more often. And the other side. And back in. Let's do one more on each side, okay? Taking it out. Okay, should be pain free. So if like me, you just feel it pulling a little bit, then bring your leg in slightly. And back in, last time on this side. Good and in okay if we sat for long periods of time then those hip flexors get quite tight so it's important that we try and stretch them to avoid any problems in our hips so let's march those legs good three two one this time i am going to tap the toes so just tap out Tap out, out, and out. Don't forget, keep engaging the core. Keep that back straight. If you're sitting down, make sure that you're not slouching forward. If you're standing, then that's great. You're nice and tall anyway. Tapping those toes out. Let's add the arm. Out, 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 out. 
out, out, both arms, out, 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 four, three, two, and one. Good, watch it, three. Three, two, one. Let's settle the legs down. We're just going to concentrate on the arms and we're going to roll the arms forward, okay? Roll those arms. So rolling away from you and then change direction and roll back towards you. Good. Don't go too vigorously and knock yourself out or anything. Let's change direction, forward again. Good. And roll back again. And we're gonna change it to a bit of boxing. So punch forward. Good. Let's go for a double punch now. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Keep going, well done. Two, one, two, one, two. Take it high, reach up, punch across. Keep going, double punches into the corners there. And again. Let's bring it back down to the center. And we're gonna go back to singles. Okay, so straight in front of you. Good. And then double time here. Let's punch, 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 punch. Double time, come on, come on, come on. That's it. Take your aggression out on the computer there. Four, three, Two, and one, and relax and roll your shoulders. Well done. Whew, I'm warm, I don't know about you lot. It's warm. Okay, let's go back to those legs. I'm gonna go back to heel digs, okay? Tap those heels. Tap those heels. Let's put a little sequence together, okay? We're gonna stick with four heel digs. All right, then we're going to go with four side taps with arms if you want to, and four marches. All right, so four of these, four taps, and four marches. All right, so starting off with the heel digs here, let's bring in the arms, okay? Four, three, two, one, tap out. One, two, three, four, and march. One, two, three, four, heel, two, three, four, out, one, two, three, four, and march, one, two, three, four, keep going, heel, two, three, four, tap out, one, two, three, four, and march, one, two, three, four, and again, heel, two, three, four, and out, one, two, three, four, march, two, three, four, okay, settle the legs down, just pump those heels there, okay, pump those heels, good, all right, we're going to move on to just the arms, we're going to settle those legs down, okay, we're going to go one, two, three, four, punch, one, two, three, four, and up, one, two, three, four, okay? So just the arms, no legs. All right, so out first, then punch, then up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, then punch, one, two, three, four, arms up, one, two, three, four, repeat, out, two, three, four, punch, one, two, three, four, arms up, one, two, three, four, and again, out, two, three, four, punch, one, two, three, 
four, arms up, two, three, four, well done, roll your shoulders. Okay, roll your shoulders. Don't forget, grab a drink if you need it. Roll in those shoulders. All right, do you think we can put all that together? Starting with the legs, if I can remember the right sequence myself. So we're gonna start off with heel digs, okay? Then tap out, then march, then out, punch, arms up, all right? So let's, let's see what mess we can get ourselves into, okay? And uh, correct me if I go wrong. So starting with the legs, heel digs, off we go. One, two, three, four, tap out, one, two, three, four, march, one, two, three, four, arms, one, two, three, four, punch, one, two, three, four, arms up, one, two, three, four, heels, one, two, three, four, out, one, two, three, four, march, one, two, three, four, arms, one, two, three, four, box, one, two, three, four, arms up, one, two, three, four, well done, <laughs> well done, that was good, that was good, okay, just the feet now, okay, so if you're standing, that's fine, but you need to be holding on to the back of the chair. So make sure you've got a chair handy. If you're seated, that's absolutely fine. We're going to work the calves, okay? Going to work the calves. So seated, keep the toes on the floor, tap those heels. Tap those heels, okay? If you're standing, and you're holding on to your chair, okay? You're going to tap those heels, keep those toes on the floor, all right? So let's see if we can do 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Dead simple, okay? Let's keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to change it. Keep the heels on the floor, tap those toes, okay? Tapping toes. Again, seated is easy. If you're standing, keep the heels down, hold on to your chair and tap those toes. Off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Another ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, and again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you should start feeling that in the front of your legs, okay, your shins there. So give those a little bit of a march out. Okay, how are we feeling so far? Give me a thumbs up if you're okay. Good, everybody's still with me there. Those without your cameras, I'm assuming you're all okay. And that's good. All right, so we're marching those legs there. Taking them in, taking them forward now. Okay, tapping forward. Well done. Two. And one, let's tap it out to the side again. Just slowing these movements down slightly now. Well done. Two and one, a little march again. Okay. Two, one, tap forward again. You can use your arms, but just slowly this time, because we're trying to just lower the heart rate slightly, okay? Then take it out. That's it. 
out to the side, a little bit of a march here, and march. Three, two, and one, good, and roll those shoulders. Well done. Good, okay. So we should be feeling quite warm now. Heart rate up a little bit, feeling a little bit puffed, but not exhausted. Okay, good. So let's go on to our props if you've got them handy there. Okay, so I've got my tins handy. So if you've got tins or weights, that's great. If you haven't, it doesn't matter, you can work without them. Okay, you can work without them. So don't worry too much. So still sitting nice and tall, keeping the arms, uh, elbows into the side. We're gonna bring those arms up to the shoulders and down. Up to shoulders and down. Up and down, up and down. Good, and again, three. Two and one, great. Now we're going to take them up above our head, okay? So into a shoulder press, so out to the side and reach up and down. Good. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Four more. Up, down. Good. Three more. Two more. And one, great. Let's go out to the side as we were doing before, okay? So lift out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in. Let's add a new one. We're gonna lead, uh, lift forward. So straight arm out in front and down. And again, up. And down, and up in front, and down. No higher than your shoulders, okay? Straight arms just in front. Let's do four more. Up and down. Keep that back straight, keep that tummy in. Up and down. Two more to go. Up and down. Keep my thighs up. Up and down. And give your shoulders a little roll there. Great, okay. Now, if you've got your tin, it doesn't matter which tin you have, tin of beans, mine's chopped tomatoes, you're gonna pop it onto the floor, or if you've got a little ball, don't worry if you haven't got it, you can do it without, okay? If you've got your tin, you're gonna put your foot on your tin and you're gonna roll your leg forward and roll it back, okay? Roll forward roll back. If you don't have a tin, then just stretch the leg forward and stretch it back, okay? So you can do it without the tin, stretch forward and bring it back, okay? If you've got your tin or a tennis ball or a football, roll it forward, roll it back. Roll it forward, roll it back. Now with my other tin, in the opposite hand, Okay, I'm gonna roll the leg forward and lift the arm up. Okay, so coordination here now. Okay, roll one leg forward, lift the opposite arm up. All right, and again, without the tins, that's fine. You can still do it. Stretch one leg forward and lift one arm up. My tins going all over the place. Forward, good. And again. And stretch and lift. Stretch the leg and lift. Let's change sides now. Okay, so we're working the other leg. Roll forward, stretch arm up. So the opposite arm to the opposite leg. Well done. Keep going, we're gonna do four more here. So roll and lift, core engaged, back straight, keep breathing. 
such a lot to remember. I think this is the last one. And down. Good, well done. Pick your tin up and pop it to one side. Okay, well done. Right, if you can find your cushion or ball again, roll your cushion up or something squidgy that you're gonna pop in between your thighs, okay? There we go. So your feet should be hip distance apart and then something squidgy, whether it's a towel or a cushion, just rolled up between your knees or a ball if you've got a football or something like that, okay? Whatever you've got to hand. All right, again, elongate your core, your body, and we're gonna squeeze the thighs together. So if you're standing, this might be better seated for you. But if you want a challenge, then uh, try it standing. But we're squeezing these inner thighs. We're working right in here. Okay, squeeze, open, squeeze, open, squeeze, open, and squeeze, and open. Now we're going to squeeze and hold it. So squeeze that cushion, hold it there. One, two, Three, four, and open. And again, squeeze. One, two, three, four, and release. Good, and again, squeeze and hold. One, two, three, four, and open. And again, squeeze. One, two, three, four, and release. Good. Keep the cushion there. Can we squeeze for a little bit longer? Let's see if we can squeeze for a count of eight, okay? So squeeze and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and release. Let's do it one more time. Squeeze and hold for a count of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and release there. Well done. Makes your legs go a bit jelly, that one, doesn't it? Pop your cushion back to one side there. Let's move on. Have you got your bands? If you've got your band handy, then let's pick it up. Okay, so we're going to scoop the band up in the palms of your hands, okay, holding it quite close together, keep the elbows into your side and keep it level with your tummy. We're going to pull the band apart as wide as you can, keep the tension on it, then slide the elbows back, shoulders back, bring forward and release. Okay, I'm going to turn to the side so you can see. So back straight, pull the band out, slide it back. So elbows back, shoulders back, forward and release. And again, pull out, slide it back, forward and release. Okay, let's keep going. That was three. So pull out. Pull back, so band to your tummy, then forwards and release. This is your upper back strengthener. Let's do four more. Pull out, slide back, forwards and release. We've got three more. Pull apart, pull back, forward, release. Two more now, out. Pull back, forward, release. Last one, pull apart, pull back, forward and release them. Roll those shoulders, well done. 
Roll your shoulders. Good. Okay, this next exercise needs to be done seated again. You're going to take the band underneath your thighs and you're going to wrap it around and cross it over on the top. And you're going to pull it tight but comfortable. Okay, tight but comfortable. Walk your feet apart. Okay, so near enough uh, chair leg apart. My chair legs are quite wide, so I'm not going quite as wide. Okay, keep your knees together. Keep the band tight. Then we're going to pull the knees open and in. And again, pull open and in. 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 Two more. Pull open and in. Pull open and in and release that well done okay we're going to stand on the band how much time have we got five it's okay last exercise okay standing on the band cross the band in front of you with your knees slightly apart there Leading with the elbows, we're going to pull the band up into an upright row and down. And again, pull up and down. And three and down. Four and down. Leading with those elbows, five and down. Six. And down. Last two, seven. And last one, eight. And down and relax there. Good, and pop your band to one side. Okay, let's just go into a little bit of a stretch and a cool down the last couple of minutes, okay? Oh, it's my cat come to say hello. <laughs> let's take a deep breath in, stretch up. Stretch. And down. And again, breathe in, stretch up. And down. Good. Bring your hands into the center. You're going to round the back, stretch your arms forward. So you're curling your back there. Good. And release. Take your hands behind you. Squeeze your shoulders together. So you're pushing your chest forward, arms behind you. Good, and release. Lift your right arm up and over your shoulder and just gently ease it back there, pain-free. And stretch right up. And bring that back down. Same on the other side, lift the arm up and over the shoulder. Gently ease it back and stretch up and bring that one down. Take the right leg forward, hands on the opposite side and lean forward. Well done. Stretching up the back of the leg. Then just sit back and pull the toes in towards you so you feel it through the back of the calf muscle. So keep that leg stretched, but toes up. 
Well done. Then we're going to change sides. Hands on the opposite side, lean forward, keep your toes relaxed at this point. Good, and then sit up, pull the toes in towards you. So you're feeling that stretch through the lower calf again. Okay, and relax there. Good, take one last deep breath in, stretch up. Breathe in and breathe out. Give yourselves a little clap, die out. Right, let me come towards you then. Okay.